What if the platforms that we're using daily, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, suddenly vanished? It's a question that might seem outlandish at first glance, but history has shown us that even the most dominant forces in the technological landscape can fade away. In the digital age, the rise and fall of social media platforms have become a fascinating cycle. Remember MySpace? It was the king of social media, a place where you could customize your profile with sparkly graphics, share your favorite songs, and connect with friends. It was the epitome of the internet's early days. And then, a new player entered the field, Facebook. With its sleek design and focus on real-world connections, it quickly overshadowed MySpace. Today, Facebook is more than just a social media platform. It's a part of our daily lives, a tool we use to connect, share, and communicate. Following Facebook, we saw the advent of Twitter, a platform that revolutionized the way we share and consume news. Instagram, on the other hand, capitalized on the rise of smartphones and the desire for visual content, becoming a hub for sharing photos and videos. And let's not forget YouTube, the video sharing platform that has become a primary source of entertainment for millions. It has given rise to a new generation of celebrities and has changed the way we consume media. But what if these platforms, these giants of social media were to go the way of MySpace? It's a thought that might seem inconceivable, but there are signs that this could happen. The landscape of social media is constantly shifting and the platforms that are dominant today may not be so tomorrow. Oversaturation of content, overconsumption by users, and increasing regulations are all factors that could contribute to the downfall of these platforms. As we continue to evolve and adapt to the digital age, the tools we use to connect and share are also bound to change. The question remains, what could possibly lead to the downfall of these social media giants? As we move forward into the future, it's a question that we must contemplate, because in the ever-changing world of social media, Nothing is ever truly permanent. Remember when MySpace was the king of social media? Now it's barely a blip on the radar. Once upon a time, social media was a novel concept. It was a place where people could connect with others, share their thoughts, and showcase their lives. This was the era of Friendster and MySpace. They were the pioneers, the first to create a virtual meeting place for people from all corners of the world. Friendster, launched in 2002, was one of the first social networking sites to gain traction. It was an exciting place where you could connect with friends, share photos, and meet new people. MySpace, on the other hand, gave people a creative outlet. It allowed users to customize their profiles, add music, and create a unique online identity. For a while, these platforms were the kings of social media. But then, a shift occurred. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube entered the scene. Facebook, launched in 2004, started as a college networking site. It quickly outgrew its roots and became a global phenomenon, bringing friends and families together in one online space. Instagram, a mobile photo sharing app, took the world by storm in 2010, changing the way we share our lives visually. YouTube, the video sharing giant, has been a game changer. Since its inception in 2005, it has given rise to a new breed of celebrities, the YouTubers. It has transformed the way we consume content, from music videos to tutorials, movie trailers to vlogs. These platforms have become an integral part of our lives, shaping the way we communicate, how we perceive ourselves and others, and even influencing global events. They have dominated the social media landscape, leaving early platforms like MySpace and Friendster in the dust. But as we've seen before, nothing lasts forever. Social media, as we know it, is evolving, with the rise of new platforms, overconsumption, oversaturation, and tighter regulations, even the giants like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube may not remain dominant forever. The only constant in the world of social media, it seems, is change. Just as quickly as they rose, social media platforms can fall. Let's start with overconsumption. Social media has become a part of our daily lives, a constant stream of information, entertainment, and interaction. But just like anything else, too much of a good thing can turn sour. With the average person spending over two hours a day on social media sites, it's easy to see how this could lead to a sense of fatigue or even burnout. Then there's the issue of oversaturation. As more and more people and businesses join social media platforms, the sheer volume of content can be overwhelming. 
It's a constant battle for attention, where only the loudest voices or the most shocking headlines prevail. This makes it increasingly difficult for constructive and meaningful conversations to take place, and for quality content to stand out from the crowd. Finally, we come to increased regulations. In the early days, social media was like the Wild West, anything goes. But as these platforms have grown, so too have concerns about privacy, misinformation and harmful content. Governments around the world are cracking down, imposing stricter rules and regulations. While these are necessary to protect users, they can also stifle innovation and limit the free flow of information, which were some of the main attractions of social media in the first place. All these factors, overconsumption, oversaturation and increased regulations, are putting pressure on social media platforms. They have to constantly juggle between providing a positive user experience and maintaining profitability. This balancing act is becoming increasingly difficult and some platforms are already showing signs of strain. The social media landscape is constantly evolving and what was once new and exciting can quickly become old and stale. The rise and fall of social media platforms is a natural part of this cycle. But the question is, are we on the brink of a major shift? Could these factors lead to the end of social media as we know it? There's such a thing as too much of a good thing, and social media might just be that good thing. Consider this. You're at a buffet, the food is delicious, the variety is endless and you're hungry. So you eat and eat and eat. But eventually there comes a point where you've had too much. The food that once tasted so good now leaves you feeling bloated and uncomfortable. That, in essence, is overconsumption. Now, apply this concept to social media. The platforms are plentiful, the content is diverse, and our appetite for connection and entertainment seems insatiable. We scroll and scroll and scroll. But just like at the buffet, there comes a point where we've had too much. The content that once entertained us now leaves us feeling overwhelmed and exhausted. This is known as social media fatigue. It's a state of mental or emotional exhaustion caused by the overuse of social media. And it's a growing problem. It's a bit like drinking from a fire hose. There's so much information coming at us at such a high speed that it's hard to process it all. And when we can't process it, we start to tune out. The impact of this overconsumption is far reaching. On a personal level, it can lead to stress, anxiety, and a decreased ability to focus. On a societal level, it can lead to a general sense of disinterest and disconnection. And for social media platforms themselves, it can lead to a decrease in user engagement and ultimately relevance. So what happens when we overconsume social media? We become saturated. We become numb. The constant stream of content becomes white noise and we start to crave something different, something more meaningful, something more real. In the end, it's not about how much content there is. It's about the quality of that content. It's about meaningful connections, thought-provoking discussions, and authentic experiences. When the novelty wears off, what's left? So what's the future of social media? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? As we've journeyed through the rise and potential fall of social media, it's clear that there's a lot to consider. Looking back, we've seen how social media platforms like YouTube have grown exponentially, becoming a significant part of our daily lives. They've connected us, informed us, entertained us, and also, to some extent, controlled us. But as with all things, there's a tipping point. We've discussed the role of overconsumption, our insatiable appetite for content, and how it's leading us down a path of content saturation. The digital space is brimming with information, and it's becoming harder and harder to sift through the noise. We're bombarded with content, and it's overwhelming. This oversaturation is causing a shift in how we interact with social media. It's no longer about discovery, but about survival, about managing the onslaught of information. Then there's the issue of regulation. As social media platforms grow and their influence expands, so too does the scrutiny they face. There's an increasing demand for transparency, for accountability, for responsibility. More and more, governments and regulatory bodies are stepping in, introducing legislation to control the digital behemoths. And with each new regulation, the landscape of social media changes. All of this paints a picture of a potential fall of social media as we know it. But what does this mean for us, the users? It could mean a shift in how we consume content, a move towards quality over quantity. It could mean a more regulated, more transparent digital space. It could mean the end of the social media giants, 
or it could mean their evolution into something new. In the end, the future of social media is as unpredictable as it is exciting. It's a dynamic, ever-changing landscape, and we're all along for the ride. So buckle up and keep your eyes open. Only time will tell if the social media giants of today will still dominate tomorrow.